the police did a good thing. I, I know. Uh, it, the the moon must be blue. Uh, we, but I, I kid you not. Uh, they managed to stop a school shooting, which is great. And um, the less great thing is that uh, both the prospective shooter and his father were both arrested. And it turns out that the house was just full of guns and explosives. And uh, that includes actual RPGs. Uh, let's just watch this police report because it's crazy. Or not police report, but local news report. Are under arrest this afternoon. San Diego police say the teenager threatened to shoot up Rancho Bernardo High School. When police raided the family's home last night, they say they found bye bye dozens Birdie. of unregistered guns, Thank you. materials to make guns, and explosives. NBC7 Shondell Meniz is in Rancho Bernardo right now. She has the latest on the investigation. Shondell. School just let out here at Rancho Bernardo. Police tell us that they've swept the campus for explosives and can confirm at this point that all is clear, everything is safe. All of this started actually on Friday when a school spokesperson tells us that a student who isn't being named showed his classmates concerning video. The nature of that video also isn't being released. And then he also told his classmates that he was going to shoot up the school today. The students took that information immediately to the principal's office. Oh, wow, where do we start? Um, Christine Peck with Poway Unified School District says in hindsight, everyone reacted as they should have. Yeah, I mean, like, th this this all, so far, everything, like, all of this is, like, exactly how, like, this entire, this entire situation is supposed to happen. Yeah, this is actually a good story, chat. The, the mass shooting didn't happen. And it's really good it didn't. For reasons that you'll see soon she says once students reported their classmate who threatened to shoot up the school police arrested the teen the same day they heard some statements that were really concerning and then i think by what was found in the search warrant um, those fears were valid with that search warrant police found dozens of ghost guns including assault rifles ghost gun makers and a grenade launcher this this kid had access to a grenade launcher and numerous RPG rounds. I, like, d like, I, I, I can't, I can't even imagine the damage that could have been done here if, White if this had happened. And greatly replaced. Where the fuck are the parents? Well, we're about to find out that too. They seem nice. I mean, mm -hmm. so I don't really know what's going on over there. It's concerning. This neighbor who didn't want to be identified saw all the investigators outside over the weekend. It's the first time she's seen police in her neighborhood in the three years she's lived here. Oh, it's terrifying. We all think we've got this secure little neighborhood here. <laughs> it just takes one person to come in and, and just change the dynamics completely. She says the family just moved in within the past two months. Police also arrested the student's father, 45-year-old Neil Anders, who faces several gun possession and manufacturing charges. Yeah, so the, the question, where are the parents? The, the parents are in the, the makeshift gun manufacturing area of the garage. They're... They're, they're they're the ones making the guns and the uh the the explosives um so yeah the father is also under arrest in this case f for creating like a illegal armory <sighs> Kyle raccoon thank you very much for subscribing and uh Pluvius thank you for gifting uh Gorgon of Gorgon a tier one sub. And also Gorgon of Gorgon, thank you for jumping over to the riverboat site. The district asked police to remain on campus at least through the rest of the week while they wrap up their investigation. It could go on further though, and also to give the students peace of mind. The father will be arraigned this Thursday and no word yet about what's next for that student. Live in Rancho Bernardo, Shondell Meniz, NBC7. Shondell, thanks very much. Uh, honestly, the fact that this doesn't happen more often is kind of crazy, right? Wait, what the fuck is a ghost gun? 
Uh, ghost guns are 3D printed guns that do not have uh, serial numbers and are, are basically un untraceable. So they're they're called ghost guns. Uh, mo some of them can get through like metal detectors because they don't have like metal parts, but most of them have some some metal parts in there. <laughs> 